Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So this is video three in the mixed media uh, for beginners. We're doing the full canvas. And here we are on the next layer. And as you can see, I'm just using tape. And this could be masking tape, painter's tape. And what I do is I pull it off and I put it on my pants. And I push it down and I pull it up so it's not as sticky, so it doesn't give you any problem coming up. Um, you can also use your hair dryer or your heat gun if you find that tape sticks. But you can definitely just use the uh, least tackiest tape that you have. Scotch tape will work, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you pull one of the sticky, you know, because you want some of that fabric on there so it's not as sticky on your paper. So you can see, put it any pattern that you want. I just, uh, you know, that whatever you put the tape on is what's gonna show when you pull it off. Um, and that just adds another dimension and um, will help when you do stamps and, you know, we put our girl on it. So you can see I'm just ripping it off, putting it in pieces, sticking it down, kind of looking at it. And um, I know that my uh, girl, I'm going to glue down in the bigger part in the middle, as you can see. Um, so I'm not going to be too worried about that area, but I'll put some tape down there. And I'm just taping up a storm. I want to thank everybody for, you know, messaging me your uh, pictures of what you've done so far. I love them and I am, I just love seeing what you guys do. And there, you can see, I'm just doing it. Now I'm going to take, uh, obviously, some more tape. I thought I was getting ready for the paint. Nope, more tape. We're going to put more tape. And no, I will not put tape on my face and my mouth so you guys uh, can make me stop talking because I will never stop talking. This is white acrylic paint. This is Liquitex Heavy Body. Now, I'm using this because I'm trying to go through all my old paint, and I have a lot of it. But you use whatever paint you want. This is very thick, and, you know, the thicker the paint, the better it won't run under the tape, but honestly, it doesn't matter. I just dotted it on like that, and I have a very dry brush. It is not wet at all, and I'm just running that uh, paint over the tape, over the areas uh, of the pink that's showing. You don't have to do white. You could do whatever color you want, but sometimes I do black because I love that contrast, but not in this case. I'm going to keep it a little better, a little lighter. And you can see I'm just scrubbing it all over the place. And if some of your tape lifts up and all that, it's not the end of the world. It's fine. It's just a mixed media canvas. But this is a great way. Um, now, if you don't want to use tape and you have stencils, you definitely can use stencils and do it the same way. But I know a lot of you starting out do not have stencils. And tape is very easy and cheap to get at the dollar store if you don't already have some at home. So it's definitely a good way to... Uh, you know, use supplies from home uh, into in, in your art. And you're going to see, I'm just drawing it a little bit. Also, a little tip, if you have problems pulling your tape up, all you have to do is heat it with your hairdryer or your heat gun, and it will pull right up. And you're going to see, I'm going to pull a piece off, and it's going to lift a little bit of that background up. And I don't care. It's not going to uh, bother anything. If it gets too much, I can put a little glue and glue it down, but I'm not going to worry about it. And I'm just pulling tape up. I think this is where it pulls up though. Is it? No, it must be the other piece. You'll see. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Yep, you can see it right there to the right. It picked up a little bit. It's all right. It doesn't matter. I'm just heating it up now with my heat gun so I can pull it up a little bit. Because obviously the longer the tape's on there, it's going to take, you know, it's going to be a little tackier for whatever reason. That's the way it works for me. And I'm pulling it up and I'm pulling them up. And I'm pulling them up again. There I go. There I go. Only a few more. Okay, so uh, you can see how cool it looks where we still have that delicious background of the uh, different colors and the sprays and the textures, but now we have uh, some white to do some contrast. So that's always enjoyable. And again, do whatever colors you want or don't do this part. It's up to you. Now I'm going to draw a quick uh, face and I'm just measuring my uh, canvas to see uh, how much of the paper I, I want. So I'm kind of doing it in thirds, you're going to see. And then I'm just going to cut a third of it off. And that's just so I can keep the rest of the paper and not, you know, not necessarily waste it. Um, so I can use it for other canvases or drawings or ATC cards or whatever I want. So I'm just cutting it, as you can see. And now I'm going to do a quick face. I have my music on, so, <laughs> um, and I'm just doing a egg shape, upside down egg shape, as you can see, and you know how I draw, I do, you know, I'm dividing it in half, I'm doing my little things there, 
I'm going to do my eyes, and then I'm going to show you how I mess up. Now, I'm having problems with my hands and pain today, but I'm going to show you. Now, I'm doing the eyes, but I didn't measure yet to see if they're even, but I'm going to show you when I measure um, how they're not even and how to fix it. I didn't like the nose there. I should have moved in a little more. I'm just doing my little nose and my line up to the bridge of the nose, and now I'm going to do the lips. I have many videos on my channel on how to do faces or how I draw them or whatever. We're just doing a folk art girl. We're not doing anything spectacular. Okay, so now I'm going to measure the eyes. Now I'm putting the ruler on the, the eye that's a little larger, you know, up on the forehead. And then I mark it. Right? And then I'm just going to erase. And then I'm going to make the top of the eye right there. So now they're more even. When I draw, I tend to turn things sideways and I hold my hand weird because of the uh, fibro and the RA and all that. So um, I notice when I draw, sometimes things go up a little bit. I'm used to it. It's just the way I do it. But um, sometimes it bothers me. So I'll go back and fix it like that. You can get a ruler at your dollar store. If you do not have a ruler, get a piece of cardboard or a piece of cardstock or something that you can use to measure, you know, so things are as even as they can be. Um, now, mind you, nobody's face is spot on. This eyes are exactly the same and all that kind of thing. So a little bit off is not going to hurt you. It just makes sure what your drawing is, you know, what you are. Now I'm just adding some eyebrows. I added the eyeballs in there, as you can see. And then I go straight in the middle and I put a dot and then I just put those pupils in and she looks like she was scared. And now I'm putting in the eyelids and you see how that completely changed her eyes. I'm doing little finger tap dances to the music. So now I'm just starting to erase some of the lines I have on there. And I'm deciding, I'm deciding. Dancing with the fingers again because I really love it. Dancing, dancing fingers. We're just dancing, dancing and staring at that probably singing to myself whatever song was on. You ever get caught up in music? Yeah, I do. All right, so now I'm going to draw, now I'm going to put her on there to see where I'm going to have her at. And I'm just going to draw very quickly her uh, dress that I'm going to put down. As you can see, there you go. I'm giving her a neck and then the arms. So thank you so much for watching. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And don't forget to tag me and message me and everything. Uh, what you guys are doing. I love seeing it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.